Good morning, YouTubers. Kiwi guy here again. Um, had a few personal messages on YouTube um, asking a, a various questions about flashing kernels, ROMs. Um, I'm going to quickly go through a tutorial about how to use Odin. Uh, my first time, I was a bit apprehensive. Didn't want to break my phone, but now um, I'm a regular flash in a trench coat. Um, so here we go. Now I also recommend downloading Samsung Keys. That's just because it installs two of the drivers you need for your computer to recognize your note. Okay, so link one, you need to download Odin first. And obviously the kernel that you want to use, I'm going to be flashing Abyss 4.2 touch kernel. Um, it's going to be link two. Now, as you can see, Odin hasn't recognized my note yet because I've only installed two of the um, drivers. So what you need to do is hold down the power the home and the page down button that goes into the actual recovery of the node itself. It's not clockwork mode recovery, it's just the inbuilt Samsung recovery. Once you've done that, your computer screen will pop up and have a display of downloading new drivers like this. So we've installed two drivers using Samsung keys. It's going to be installing two more for the recovery side of the drivers. Okay, so once again, that's the home, power, and page down, page down key, and you'll see it flash into the Samsung side of the recovery. And then we want to push volume up to say, yep, I want to go into that. Once I've done that, if we quickly take a look at the computer screen, you'll see a little yellow highlighted box. So it says, Odin has recognized that you've got a note plugged in, which is great. And then we want to click on PDA. Then we want to navigate to where we've saved the kernel on our hard drive. And then we want to click start. It's going to take about 10 seconds. Okay, once we've done that, we want to hold the power, the home, and the page up button. Then it goes into here, which is the Abyss Clockwork Mode Recovery. Now you can just reboot your phone from now if you just want to keep your stock ROM but I'm going to install a ROM on just in case anyone needs to follow instructions on how to do that. So I want to install zip from SD card and find where I've put my ROM which is Rocket ROM version 7 and I want to click on that. It's going to take about 20-30 seconds to, to flash that. Okay, so once again we play the waiting game. Okay, so we had Abyss kernel flashed, but uh, using Rocket ROM it's going to flash its own kernel. See it says flashing kernel, flashing modem, now it's actually installing the ROM. So I'm just going to leave that do its thing and cut it. Okay, so back, we've finished, it's flashed the ROM. Uh, what we want to do now is to click on go back. Then I want to reboot system. And now it's going to reboot into Rocket ROM. This may take a long time. If you have an ice cream sandwich version already on your phone, you don't need to clear any settings, you just need to flash Rocket ROM straight over the top. If you're coming from Rocket ROM, then you're going to need to wipe your cache like this. You're also going to need to go into Reset Data Settings, a factory reset, which is just that one. I've just gone past it. And if you want, you can go to Advanced and format um, your cage, your system, your data that way. But I wouldn't recommend that. I'd just format Data, Reset Phone, and the Dove Cage. Um, and that's it. Okay, so I hope that was pretty clear. If you've got any questions, um, just put a comment in. Kiwi Guy, out.